In this tutorial, we will write a Java program to check whether a number, whether a character is alphabet or not. So uh, we'll start by taking a character from user. So enter a character and we'll store it into a character variable c equals to uh, reader dot next dot character at zero and we'll uh, put two conditions if c is greater than a greater or equals to a and c is less than or equals to z either this is true okay either this condition is true or c is greater or equals to capital a and c is less than equals to capital z if these conditions are true then we print that uh, c is an alphabet otherwise we print c is not an alphabet there we go let's run and see uh oh so I guess I forgot one more bracket. Let's run again. Okay, so I press something like B. B is an alphabet, which is true. And I press capital P. Capital P is an alphabet, which is also true. And if I press um, percentage sign, and it says percentage sign is not an alphabet which is also true so what we have done is we have actually uh, what actually happening is uh, you can actually compare strings uh, the characters with characters and strings with a string so you can compare a character you can say that if a is greater than b or not and the comparison how really uh, actually it works is it compares the ascii value of the two characters so if you say uh, whether b is greater than a or not if b b has 66 value or b has 98 value a uh, has uh, 97 value so b is greater than a so this comparison becomes true so you can compare the character so we are comparing the character if it falls between a and uh, small a and small z and either in this uh, small n and small z or in capital a and capital z if this falls in between these two then we say that the uh, character is an alphabet and if it's not then we say that the character is not an alphabet now uh, let me comment this code there are some other ways of doing the same thing so i'm going to show you how um, uh, you can use the ternary operator so we create a string variable output equals to you put the same condition these same conditions in your ternary operator you say either these are if true then you say c plus is an alphabet otherwise you say c plus is not an alphabet so this plus is basically concatenating two strings if c is something a then this will be a is not an alphabet and if you see something let's say percentage then percentage is an alphabet or something like that okay so plus sign is just concatenating uh, nating this character with uh, this string okay and finally you can just print your uh, output i'm sorry for print i will need to use the entire output okay so let's run it and see again if this works out oh oh I'm sorry I forgot semicolon because I work in Java from last in a year that is why I'm used to uh, I just forget semicolon okay so if I say let's say dollar sign it says dollar is not an alphabet which is true and if I give uh, let's say J capital J is an alphabet so this also works fine now there's an other way of doing the same thing I'm going to show you how uh, there is a character class there is a, this character class 
and this has is alpha Betric method in which you can pass your character and if it, the character is alphabetic this will return true so if we say character dot is alphabetic c if it's alphabetic and we uh, do same we print that the character is an uh, alphabetic and otherwise else we say that uh, our character is a uh, not alphabet there we go let's run it and see okay so this time i give zero it says zero not an alphabet which is also correct and if i give let's say m this says m is an alphabet which is also correct so you have got three ways you can either do this by if else or you can do the by ternary operator or you can do by uh, the is alphabetic method so since you have the built-in method so you can use this there's no need to use these things uh, again and again just call the method check if it's the alphabetic if it is you can print it otherwise print that it's not an alphabetic so that's it with this tutorial and i'll see you in next tutorial if you need code please check the description of this video